Hi guys, just going to do a small electronic project so that I can test my Antex 18 watt soldering iron that I just bought on eBay. It's a second hand one, but it's been reconditioned. I don't know if they've changed the lead on it, it's a nice flexible lead. And they've got a new soldering iron tip on it. It's switched on at the moment, I'm not going to touch it because it's getting hot. So, quick way to check it is one of these cheap kits from eBay. This one's actually a light sensitive switch. It's only one, two, three, four, five components. In fact, there's one that I've just been positioning. Let's put the soldering iron out of the way so I don't burn myself. It's got two transistors, an LDR, light dependent resistor, and a couple of resistors, and that's it. Uh, one resistor's 100k, the other's 1k. 3 volt feed. Um, I'm going to try it with a little LiPo there, which will be 3.5 volts. So I'll be pushing it a little bit. And what I've got here is it's the vibrating motor out of a toothbrush that I've soldered leads onto. It's a sealed unit, that. But that should vibrate so we can tell whether it works or not. And that normally works off 1.5 volts, so... That should do all right, pushing three volts through it. So that's what we do. So I've already started putting the bits in here, but I'll take them out again so we can identify them. So there's our circuit board. It shows you clearly which way round the transistors have got to go. They're 9013s your NPN transistors. So they're going to go in like that. This fella, if you're going to use this in a practical application, you might want to put extension wires on it and have it coming out somewhere where it can detect the light. But I'll just Put it straight on there. So I'll just solder them on and then I'll sort out which resistor's which. Uh, do we need to zoom in a bit? I suppose we do. So a bit of blue tack to hold it still. see it. <laughs> okay, how are we doing? Oh yeah, we're still hot. Hmm. That's interesting. The legs of that LDR don't want to take solder. Huh. They're not taking solder at all. Well, I've never had that problem before. Being as I'm cleaning it off like that, I think what I might do is I might slip some insulation on there and have it higher up so I can adjust it. I've stripped the insulation off some wire, uh, some green wire, and slipped that over the legs of this LDR. And I've tinned 
the bits that are sticking out. So hopefully this time it should take the solder. And I'll have a nice long lead on it there that I can bend to face the light as required. So, let's try again. That's better. Well, I've got to say, I couldn't believe that the first time when it wouldn't take solder. Focus camera. That looks a bit better. So, let's hope the transistors don't give me the same problem. Probably overdoing it now, just to make sure. Well, that looks a bit better. So I'll just trim them off. A couple of resistors now. 1K and 10K. In focus. Got two resistors there. Brown black black is one zero zero, and then that one's brown black black brown, so that's one zero zero with one extra zero, so that's a one K. And that's brown, black, black, orange. And what do we want? 100k for the other one. Oh, hang on. That one says 120k on the diagram, but it only says 100k on the screen print, silk screen print, or whatever they call that, the white writing. Well, we haven't got any choice. It's going to be that one. It's going to be the 100k. And that one is the 1k. having trouble getting my bearings on the camera when I look in the screen because it's actually upside down to me. Sorry about that. Oh, my new tip's coming loose on my soldering iron.
Well, that's good. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I think that needs to slide along there a bit to grip it. I'm not going to do that while it's hot either. That's the extensive selection of components. They've given us, I think these are called DuPont connectors. Or tags. Well, I've had to tap them through to get them into position. That was unexpected. I suspect most people have just put wires straight through and soldered wire connectors on. But I wanted to try these out. Well that's it, job done. So there's my vibrator that we'll put on the output. There's my LiPo battery which we'll try and get the right way round. On there. Nothing. Okay, that's not good. Bit of a lack in continuity here, I'm afraid. Had a few problems that I didn't expect. Um, got the circuit board made up. I've got a black tube over my light dependent resistor to shroud it from the ambient light so we just touch over the end of it to turn the light off. You may remember I wanted it to drive this little vibrating motor. Well, that doesn't happen. Uh, I'm using three AAA batteries at the moment to power it because I want to use my LiPo to drive the motor. I'm going to use a relay to do that in a minute but we'll just demonstrate. So at the moment if I use these LEDs should be able to see they're coming on nicely. But if I put my motor across there, which remember is only one and a half volts, nothing happens. So what I've done now is I've got a little reed relay there that is very low voltage or low current. So if I now plug relay into there and plug my LEDs into the circuit. They're now being turned on and off by this operating the relay and the relay putting the LiPo battery. I've got a good size resistor there to drop the voltage but that's now lighting up the LEDs through that relay. So if we now connect in the motor it's 
so it's all working but the power output from there just the circuit on its own wasn't enough to drive that vibrating motor so we've got a light sensitive circuit here that then switches the relay and then the relay is giving us the power to run the motor and obviously I could put any power I like through that as long as the contacts on the relay can carry the current and we could drive a much larger motor or just light up LEDs so that got a lot more complicated than I intended it to be I just wanted to test my soldering iron on there <laughs>